children. It is so much better than the United States by a thousand different ways. I mean, it just, I, I cannot begin to tell you how much a different lifestyle it is to live in an area that's peaceful, um, that, that, that I, I have a home in. I don't own a home in the United States. I could certainly uh, afford to have one, but I choose not to. I choose not to put my money and my time and my energy effort in, into developing things in the United States. I have in, in my safe haven country. Uh, but it is in the southern hemisphere. It's in the southern part of the southern hemisphere, and it is in uh, South America. Um, the, the whole bottom part of the southern part of South America, which would be uh, Uruguay, Chile, and Argentina, are uh, in the top five of, of the countries for survivability. I think it would be a disservice if I said, go to country ABC, and I'll tell you why. To me, um, and, and I've heard this from a lot of people, it'd be like getting one of those um, bookcases or, 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 or uh, some piece of furniture that you have to kind of put together and it have instructions. I believe that uh, uh, of all the deaths that are going to take place in the next five to 15 years, uh, it's going to be because of these five things, war, disease, famine, natural disasters, and ruthless governments. And there are places where uh, the, the country that I've moved to, I, I'm predicting less than 4% of the world's po- uh, more 4% of that population will die. But the vast majority of the countries are going to be 50, 70, 90, 100%. Uh, I believe in this uh, collapse of civilization and with war and all the other things that are going to take place. Um, there are some countries that are easier to get into than others. Uh, there's uh, still a few countries that are not so overwhelmed in their immigration offices by Americans and Europeans. But let me tell you, millions of Europeans and millions of Americans are moving to these countries, and they are overwhelming the immigration offices. So they're going to make it more difficult uh, as, as the day goes uh, by, as every week goes by, to be able to have Americans get in. Um, I, I think that you have to, to look at it as you can look at the ones. Ecuador, uh, I've, I've just recently helped a, a family move to Ecuador with uh, five kids. Uh, it's an incredible place. There's a lot of people that are moving to Ecuador uh, for various reasons now. It's directly on the equator. Uh, it is in the top five, uh, but uh, uh, the, the, all the countries are in the southern hemisphere. They're in the, well, almost all of them are in the top 20. Uh, there's a few countries that are in the northern hemisphere. Uh, it's difficult to get into some countries. Look at Australia and New Zealand. You have to have a lot of money. You have to speak English. You have to be young, yet you have to have spent your whole career in the same uh, business. It's a point system. There's no easy c- country to move into. I mean, if you had, uh, let's say, I owned a country, just me, uh, just let anybody in? No, of course not. We let all the criminals in? No, of course not. Uh, want uh, educated people, people that aren't going to leech off of the government, etc. So, there's things that you have to do, but I've done it. I've helped a bajillion people do it. It's, it's not that difficult. If you have a will to do it, it can be done. And because this new passport application process that's impossible to fill out uh, is relatively new, I'm going to pass on my personal opinion, stick with as much fact as I possibly can. Um, the fact of the matter is right now, and I think people will see this, that people are playing Russian roulette. I mean, I'm not talking one bullet in a six chamber and, and, you know, spinning the revolver and pointing the gun to your head. I think you got two bullets in the chamber right now. <clears throat> uh, the worst thing that could ever happen to any human being, and I've thought about this in my near 60 years of life on this planet, um, is regret. Uh, I don't want any regrets, and especially when it comes to my wife and my, my two teenagers. Uh, I want to do what's right by them, and I think that everybody listening to my voice right now doesn't want to have regrets. They want to have options. They want to live. They want to live a high quality of life. Um, and I think that they know that there's something uh, is going on in the world, and especially in this country, just people that are looking for a better life now. Uh, we could uh, look at this as why are the millions of people that are leaving every year leaving? They're leaving for a lot of different reasons. Some do see the handwriting on the wall, uh, but other people are looking for a better way of life. And it's like we live on one planet. People have moved from L.A. to Chicago or from San Francisco to Miami. Uh, it's a move. There are some paperwork, there's some paperwork that you have to get to to get into uh, uh, to any country. They're just not going to let anybody in. But it's for a better way of life. And because I've done it, it's one of the best things I've ever done because I have a higher quality of life, found just immense amount of peace and tranquility and meaning in life by moving and feel good about it. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do, 
but what's the alternative? Um, do you want to live in a country where you are tracked and traced and uh, you could lose it all right now? I mean, you could lose everything you've got right now because we live in the most litigious society in the world. Somebody could sue you, and I don't care how much insurance that you have, just you paying attorneys uh, could bleed you dry. We live in a society... Uh, in this country that you could lose it all a hundred different ways. You know, the vast majority of bankruptcies, and bankruptcies have become more difficult because of laws that Congress have passed, but uh, the vast majority, way over 50% of all bankruptcies, are due to medical bills, and those are with people with, with insurance, medical insurance, okay? So how would you like to live someplace where everything is healthy and organic and people live uh, a longer life? Uh, the country that I moved to has a higher life expectancy, has a higher literacy rate than the United States, has just, you know, percentages of the crime that the United States has. The people are real. Let me tell you about a libertarian society. And I don't want to get into politics because it's, it's a tough subject. But I live in a society. All the major world globalists, Ted Turner, who says, Population of the planet, no more than 500 million people. That means more than 9 out of 10 people on the planet has got to go, according to Ted Turner. He owns tons of land uh, in the southern part of uh, South America. George Soros, who can make one statement and ruin a country, ruin an economy, um, it, it, there's very few people as powerful as he is. He owns tons of, uh, of land in this area as well, too, in southern South America. Uh, the vast majority of the globalists, have safe havens in the safe havens. They have it. They know what's going on. They know what's coming down. Now, Russia, the United States, and a few other countries have a lot of underground cities where they're going to take their political leaders uh, when we have nuclear war or, let's say, Planet X, Navarro, uh, this brown star. I mean, there's a bajillion scenarios out there uh, that are coming down the pike. They all have their sort of safe haven. But if the global say nine out of every ten people got to go, um, but I think the vast majority of the people in the United States government uh, are not aware and things like that, the government came to me and said, you cannot do this. You cannot tell people the truth. They market uh, their disinformation. They are going to protect the truth and not let it out. And I've talked to people, high government positions and different uh, things. I know there are people that know what's going on and what's coming down. Uh, it's kind of hush-hush in certain uh, circles. And in other circles, they are they're planning and preparing for this. Um, I tell you what, if we have a polar uh, flip uh, uh, and ice... Uh, the, the ice melts at both poles. Uh, if we have uh, some major disasters in some ways, uh, if the seas rise 20 feet, 1 billion people are going to be displaced. That's one out of 7 people on the planet. There's some things that are going down, and they know uh, the scenarios, and they're preparing for themselves. They're not preparing for you or me. The government came to me. I mean, we're talking Washington, D.C. officials came to me and said, you can't say this. And I said, what about free speech? And I said, there is no such thing as free speech. Uh, I'm not fighting the government. I never want to fight the government. Uh, and then I'm not going to spend $100 million in attorney's bills you know, fighting the government. I, I don't like that sort of uh, thing. I don't believe in the left-right paradigm. I actually believe they uh, want everybody in a left-right paradigm. That means the left hates the right and the right hates the left. And they keep everybody in this country busy hating each other and fighting each other and saying, we're right, no, you're wrong, we're right, you know, this, this, that, and the other. And yet they're the ones that are about ready to pull the rug out from underneath everybody. We're all drinking fluoridated water. That's what Adolf Hitler used to keep all the people in the concentration camps docile. And so they just kind of walked like a zombie straight to their death. And whether it's the showers or whether in the beginning where they were shooting them in the head and then bulldozing them in those big, huge uh, uh, holes in the ground. I do not believe in the left-right paradigm. So this is what I believe in. I believe in freedom. And whether you're left or you're right, whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, if you're black or white, rich or poor, if you're Catholic, Protestant, atheist, um, uh, metaphysical, whatever it is, you would want to live society where nobody hates you. If you were in a left society, you know, in our government, 
when the Republicans are in power, they have the IRS and everybody you know, uh, go after uh, 